I didn't know, but this M scope stands for mini scope. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the mini scope, and I'll show you what I found out. The screen that I use most is this one, and you can get to it by pushing the menu button and then going to meter. And I like this screen a lot because I can see the SWR, I can see the ALC, and I can see the power output. So that's my favorite screen. Another one that I like is the scope. And when I tap the scope, I get this large spectrum scope. I can make it smaller and then, of course, expand it. The way that I understand it is this is the spectrum scope and the spectrum scope shows up like this, expanded, or when it's contracted it shows up down at the bottom. That's the spectrum scope. And the way that I understand it is the mini scope is different. The mini scope, when you push the mini scope button, it shows up at the top. Push it again and it disappears. Let's take a look at the different screens that the mini scope will appear on. It'll appear on the uh, audio. It'll appear on the voice. And of course the meter. The SWR. I don't believe it shows up. Nope, doesn't show up on the memory. Sometimes I end up with this blank screen down at the bottom. And to get rid of it, I can hold in the M scope button. Now I have the spectrum scope displayed, and I can expand it. Let's go back to displaying the mini scope. Uh, let's see, yeah, it does on the scan, it does on the M pad. And it doesn't on the record. So the two that it doesn't display on are the record and the memory. And again, I end up with this blank blank down at the bottom. If I hold in the M scope, it brings up the spectrum scope and I can expand it or make it smaller. Okay, I almost forgot and left out the RIDI decode. If I'm on RIDI and I go to decode, the mini scope shows up on the top. There you go. I hold it in and I get the spectrum scope. Back to mini scope, hold it in, spectrum scope. If I want decode, I have to go back and tap it. Now I have the mini scope. So whenever I end up with with that, I just hold in the mini scope button. Okay, well I'm going to check into the YL system net. If you got something out of this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you know somebody that would benefit from this video, please share it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And the next time I produce a video, you'll get a notification. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching 73 and Good DX.